Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Friday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. So happy to be with you. I hope you're enjoying Deacon Jonathan's reflections as well. Isn't he a wonderful candidate for the priesthood? He's really a super guy and really knowledgeable about the faith and really just a great deacon to assist me and Deacon Don. As I told you, Deacon Jonathan is a transitional deacon. He's transitioning into the priesthood, I guess in eight months. And then Deacon Don is a permanent deacon. So he's a deacon for life. So anyway, we have Deacon Don and Deacon Jonathan. And I just wanna throw in that we also have Deacon Peter. I don't know if you know Deacon Peter. He usually sits on the Blessed Mother's side, second pew. His ministry is to take care of his wife, Marge. Uh, although he's he's a member of our parish and he's a deacon. So we have three, uh, Deacon Jonathan, Deacon Don, and Deacon Peter. So thank you, men, for assisting me in the work of the church and the work of this parish. Well, today, everybody, we're going to continue our rosary series, and we're talking about the mystery of light or the luminous mysteries. And we're up to the fourth one, and that is the transfiguration. So let's go to that gospel scene, right? Because that's what, that's what a rosary is all about. It's about meditation upon biblical scenes, meditations on biblical scenes of the gospel, to put ourselves into that gospel and to allow the Lord to speak to us in our daily life. So the transfiguration. So what happened? So the Lord brings Peter, James, and John. Peter, James, and John up the high lofty mountain of Mount Tabor, and he is transfigured before them. He becomes very beautiful in his appearance, his clothes dazzling white. So you can imagine, get the visual of the transfiguration of Jesus, how he's transfigured figured before their sight up on that high mountain, Mount Tabor. I don't know if you know this, sometimes parishes will have a little stand and they will put the monstrance on that little stand. Have you ever seen that? So some most parishes put the monstrance on the altar, but some parishes have a little gold stand. Do you know what that gold stand's called? a Tabor, <laughs> because it gets its name from Mount Tabor, which is the transfiguration. So of course the Lord is transfigured. I mean, his body and blood is right there under the disguise of the unleavened bread. I love all these little facts, don't you? So the transfiguration, he takes Peter, James, and John up the high lofty mountain and is transfigured before their eyes. And who appears? Moses and Elijah, representing the law, Moses, and Elijah, the prophets. Because Jesus fulfills the law and the prophets, you see? He's the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. And that's why they are in appearance at this beautiful sight. Peter says, Lord, it's so great to be here. Let me, let me erect three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. The Lord is saying, no, this, we're going to have to go down from the mountain. I just wanted to allow you to know that it does not end in death. Because Peter, James, and John were fearful of the crucifixion. Let's face it. They knew what a crucifixion was like. So they would have to go down now and continue the work of the Lord. So I just want to tell you about this meditation scene, the transfiguration, okay? And my beautiful rose is going to be yellow still. I like that yellow color. And my thorn, I think it's going back down off the mountain and facing reality of the crucifixion and the death of the Lord. So that's the thorn. Do you have your rosary out? Okay, let me get my rosary. Oh, here we are. You know, I have 
several rosaries, but I like my my wooden be beads. I like them because I have big hands. Peggy calls them mitts. <laughs> she says, you have big hands. I said, yeah, I have to have like strong beads. I can't have little dainty beads, you know. God bless you women. You have dainty hands and little beads. I have to have like wooden beads, you know what I mean? Strong, because this will be popping all over the place. So let's go to our fourth decade. And let's begin by praying the Our Father, which begins the decade, right? And thinking about the scene of the Transfiguration. Oh, by the way, I was there, you know. I was at the Mount of Tabor of the Transfiguration. They built a church upon that mountain. Did you know that? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And just to see it, I have a picture of me and Father Carey, my priest friend. We're standing right outside of the church in the piazza. And there's a gate or a fence rather that so you don't fall over. Beautiful. So the church is right on the, the top of Mount Tabor. And inside the church, you'll see the murals of Peter, James, and John. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's all, it's all beautiful. It's all beautiful if you have faith. If you don't, then it's just a church to you. It doesn't have any impact. But once you walk in there, see, with people with faith, it just pops open everything. And you're so enamored by everything. It's lovely. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but the diverse from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Well, thank you everyone for joining me in this beautiful, luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. The Transfiguration of Christ on Mount Tabor with Peter, James, and John, and then of course Moses and Elijah appearing there. And the voice of the Father being heard, this is my son, listen to him. You know, it's the... This, the, the voice of the Father was heard at the baptism of the Lord. Remember that? When the heavens ran open and the Lord said, this is my beloved son, listen to him. It's almost at the beginning of the public ministry and now at the end of the public ministry. 
these bookends of the Father validating Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of God. I think it's so beautiful to meditate upon these mysteries of our Lord. Well, enjoy this day. It's beautiful out today, isn't it? God bless you, everyone.